Hi everyone, success story time. It's Agnes, in case you didn't know, this is from Pi. So Pi says, here is my success story. I've only been listening to, watching and reading positive things on the internet for quite a few weeks now since the time I am on medication. Needless to say that you are at the top of those positive people I start my day with. I believe in messages from the universe and I somehow felt that a lot of messages were coming to me to read the book, The Secret. A friend of mine had given me a pirated PDF version last year, but that did not influence me much. Firstly, I don't think that it was a complete book. And secondly, I'm not someone who is very supportive and appreciative of pirated things. <laughs> I was guilty all through while reading it last year. Needless to say, I did not leave any impression. It did not leave any impression on me at all. This time I suddenly decided that I will manifest this book after receiving so many messages from multiple directions that I must read the book. I started thinking about it and visualizing about it and I was holding the book sitting somewhere at a public place. I was going a little overboard and thinking and expecting that someone would gift it to me surprisingly and I will start believing in LOA again with all my faith, LOL. However, here's what happened. I was determined to manifest the book and I was visualizing it in my hand multiple times a day and this was going on for a few weeks. I had gone to a nearby place, an overnight journey in a train and on the way back my train at 6.25 on a particular day, I was at the train station since the afternoon itself that day. At 6 p.m. I decided to go to the platform on which my return train was supposed to arrive, which was platform number two, and it took about five minutes to reach it from the main station area. While I was about to get down on the final step of the platform staircase, I suddenly realized that I had not taken any food. So I took the stairs back to the main station area, brought myself some food for the night. While paying the store owner, I saw that I had less than 200 bucks in my wallet, which is something very unusual for me as I don't carry much cash. However, after paying the store, no, something very usual for me as I don't carry much cash. However, after paying the store owner on my way back to the stairs to platform two, I started contemplating if I should draw out a thousand bucks as it is going to be an overnight journey and there could be emergencies. I would have taken about seven or eight steps that I decided to go back down and go and withdraw money from the ATM and climb down back again to the main station area to go out where the ATM was located. Oh, by this time it was 6.13. I started rushing to the ATM, but there were two people before me in the queue. I tried requesting the one in front of me if I could withdraw money before he did as I had a train to catch. He refused and said that I still had time. He did not want to allow me. It was 6.15 by now. I waited for my turn. This inconsiderate person started taking longer than expected. Not sure if it was on purpose, but I gave him the concession and forgave him if he actually did it on purpose. It was 6.18 p.m. I dropped the idea of withdrawing the cash and started convincing myself that it was okay to carry 200 bucks. Exactly at the same time, I saw another ATM counter about 30 meters away. So I ran to the second one, which had no one, and I withdrew a thousand bucks. It was 6.20. Now I rushed back to the platform and made it just in time at 6.25. The train had just arrived in front of me. I walked a little and boarded the train, designated for me as per my reservation train ticket. And the train was supposed to halt for five minutes. I kept my backpack on my seat. While still settling in, I saw from the window a very small bookstore right opposite to my main train seat on the platform. My seat was allotted near the train coach entrance gate and I don't know what got into me, but I suddenly decided to get down and go to the bookstore. It would hardly be three more minutes for the train to start from the platform. Oh, I thought of checking with the store owner if he had the book, The Secret, and guess what? Ta -da! He said, yes, I didn't realize anything yet. I asked him how much. He said, $5.99. Bucks. I paid him the money from the just withdrawn cash and got back on the train coach just in time, and the train started moving. It was at that moment that the whole story replayed in my mind, and I got into a state of shock of what had just happened in the last 25 minutes. <laughs> I realized that in the nick of time, 
that I had no dinner with me and decided to go and buy it. I saw my wallet only when I was paying the dinner guy. I had no reason to go and withdraw the thousand bucks cash as I am someone who hardly carries anything. More than $200 in my wallet. I could have very well managed with the money I had until I reached home. My train coach was aligned exactly opposite the bookstore, which it could have been aligned to anywhere else on the train station platform. This was too small a store to have a grand book as the secret within it. This store did not accept cards and was only a cash only store. <laughs> and finally, all of this happened at the last minute when I was already in the train station four hours before my scheduled departure. I manifested the book, The Secret, and the right at the right moment, I understood deeply and made it be completely now how law of attraction works. I have been a pessimistic and anxious person throughout my life for 30 odd years. It is still very difficult for me to put my 100% faith in it as the small logical part of my mind is still thinking all this to be just a series of coincidences. <laughs> But my subconscious mind this time is bent upon making myself believe that LOA works 100% and we create our reality. My faith in law of attraction is getting even stronger as I type this story out to you. Believe me, my purpose of requesting you to put this story out on YouTube is not to gain any name or fame from it, but for non-believers, pessimists and anxious people like me to realize that this is true and it is a law and no one can change or defy it. I send my love to you and everyone and everything in the universe and to the love of my life about whom I will share my success story very soon and I'm very sure about it and it also expresses my gratitude to the universe for all the good things that are already present in my life at the moment. <sighs> P.S. Just a few days ago I also surprisingly manifested a kiss on my cheeks by my boy just as I had imagined and visualized and my freaking mind still refuses to believe it's LOA. Spreading the love and happy manifesting with warm regards, pie. <laughs> that sounds like a very hectic 25 minutes, but seamless and at the seventh hour, at the last moment. Love it. That's gorgeous. <laughs> oh, that's great. Thank you for sending that in. I love a good quirky story. That's a good, got some quirk to it. <laughs> Thank you, Pi. Lots of love. And um, so, 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 so wonderful to read your stories, everybody. I want to say that I am very proud of many of you that just keep trying, you know, just just giving give yourself the credit for keeping on trying. You're trying to learn. There's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with you. I'm going to put a YouTube down below that I did some time ago called there is nothing wrong with you. I'm going to put that down below. Please, please, please try to relax. Try to relax. Try to stop accelerating. Try to be <sighs> like that as much as you can. Because it is that relaxness that I'm happy here right now. I don't need or want to be in this feeling. I'm okay. When things come, they come. When you're in that state, it's like things love you. People love you. Money loves you. Health loves you. It just comes. So <laughs> thank you, Pi. Beautiful. That's so cute. Lots of love and big hugs. <laughs>